everybody, this is Doc Mack from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Saturday, July 25th, 2020. We are here at the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Huge thanks to everybody for joining yesterday. We were down at Galloping Ghost Pinball. Awesome, walking around, having a fun time down there. We did finish, we finally got to doing the new update on Elvira House of Horrors. That has been updated down at Galloping Ghost Pinball. Um, it is, I haven't even uh, played the new update yet. Very excited for it. Uh, pinball is open today. Shady is down there. Uh, great to see people down there and having fun. Huge thanks to LaCats who was uh, joining us earlier today. Had spent the day hanging out with him. Had a few surprises. Daniel, Master Daniel Piscina of uh, Mortal Kombat stopped by. Great chatting with him. A lot of fun. Uh, but great hanging out with LaCats. Uh, Jay got to play a handful of games. Um, Time Pilot and uh, Narc, and then we were down uh, checking out some Dark Presents. Uh, very, very cool day. Very, very cool day. Uh, Shoutouts to Bad News to Cruise. Uh, saying, saying uh, what's up? Been a while away. Had to come back. Listen. Uh, Green Elf needs food badly. I hear you, man. Great to have you here in the stream. Ulysses joining us. Todd, what is up, man? Uh, Thomas Ross saying my favorite Spy Hunter sit down is the best. What, what's up, Doc? Thank you so much for being here, man. Um, it's definitely starting on Spy Hunter. Absolutely loving. Just uh, found out that uh, my second soundboard isn't working in there, so I got to go fix that. Got to go through that game. I got to still adjust the monitor. That the monitor was on the list during the lockdown and everything. Still plenty to do. Plenty to do. Uh, Jay saying thanks again for an awesome day, Doc. Thank you, man. It was an amazing, lot of fun. Uh, definitely looking forward to uh, having you back out. And uh, it'll some more surprises coming for you, man. Uh, Miguel checking in. That was, uh, th you know, Jay is the reason we started on uh, Spy Hunter right here. So uh, he was the one that pointed out that the uh, Peter Gunn music wasn't playing. So we'll, we'll check that. We'll get that working. Um, Kevin saying, just kicking back in the sun uh, Saturday in California. Uh, thank you for thank you for joining us. Very awesome. Hope things are doing well in California. Uh, Paul the Crew saying, miss you, brother. How are how are those games? I can't wait to play all of them. I wonder how long uh, that would take. We will find out in the not too distant future. I gotta get back on track. You know, when the lockdown, we were getting so close to having a hundred percent up. And uh, when we have 100% up, I was I still want to be running the, the gauntlet. It is going to be a marathon playing all every game. The longer it gets, the more games there are. 778 right now. By Monday, it'll be 779. So we'll see. Uh, very anxious to still run the gauntlet, though. Um, Todd saying, uh, did you ever get the Space Ace board working yet? Not yet, but, so was doing more research on that, and there are two Space Ace boards. There's one from Leland, and then there is the other from uh, Cinematronics. And we just picked up uh, the Cinematronics Space Ace board from Todd Tucky over at TNT Amusement, um, who, it was just on eBay. So make sure you're searching for Todd stuff on eBay and on, Check it out on Facebook and stuff, because Todd's always got good stuff for sale. And uh, we picked that up, so we'll be working on that soon. Well, there's been so many projects coming up. We're gearing up for T20. So um, trying to get that, not going out to Mississippi for that warehouse raid is is definitely made things a bit more of a challenge. Uh, we don't have a ton of empty cabinets to work with, so we're, we're trying to figure something out, but it will come up with something. It'll be, T20 will be a pretty amazing time, so looking forward to it. But Space Ace is in the queue of projects, and uh, hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, Thomas Ross saying we're going to have to get some games in on Speed Racer when I come in on the 10th. Looking forward to it, man. I'm going to Speed Racer, you know that whole fourth room, we've got a little bit of a space adjustment that we have to do, but uh, Speed Racer, I'll make sure we go through that and that'll be playing great. Uh, Ulysses asking, uh, hey Doc, do you have Super Ghouls and Ghosts? So Super Ghouls and Ghosts was only for the uh, Super Nintendo. Um, we do have Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts for the uh, in dedicated cabinets. Ghosts and Goblins right there. 
Rules and goes right next to it. That cider, so cool. Great dynamo cabinet, very versatile cabinet. Uh, Greg saying, well, thanks for being here, Greg, saying, what are you currently playing? You know, I, I was playing some Time Pilot earlier today, and I'm kind of uh, wanting to get back on some Time Pilot. So, um, I was playing more Dark Presence today. Um, not any, on anything in particular. I found myself playing some more Crackdown. Absolutely love Crackdown. I was playing some more Gain Ground. Just kind of all over the place. Uh, Fat Chris checking in. Uh, only 16 more days this awesome week of the 10 year anniversary. I'm so looking forward to it. It's, it, we have all these plans lined up and on, we're just getting a little bit of uh, stress fractures from the amount of things, the new problems that are popping up. But we'll get through them all. It's gonna be a pretty amazing event. Super excited for it. And uh, looking forward to everybody stopping out and having fun. And um, can't wait for uh, T20. Can't wait for that Monday mystery game. It is going to be a pretty amazing week of events. So hope everybody who can, is joining us is, enjoys it. When we're when it's uh, starting on the 7th, 8th, the 9th, Monday, Tuesday, or, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 7th, 8th, the 9th. Uh, then the 10th is Monday Mystery Game. Then the Thursday is the uh, Gamer of the Year. And then on the Saturday, that's our big bash here. So it should be an amazing week. Greg saying, yes, run the gauntlet pretty soon. I gotta, I gotta get caught up on some fixes and then we'll get back on planning that out. We gotta get back on doing some streaming. I was talking with Pete earlier, I was talking with Jeremiah earlier, and just, uh, and Danielle too. It's, uh, we got, we, we missed doing some gameplay streams aside from Monday Mystery, so more of that coming as well. Kevin, sorry to hear about that. Hope, and saying I hope to get back to the arcade someday. Hopefully, man, just let us know when you're coming. Looking forward to whenever that is. Uh, Paul DeCruz saying, how's the progress on Afterburner 2? Uh, it's been, uh, we really haven't put any focus on it yet. There's just so many projects in the air. You'll find out why soon though. So just bear with us, bear with us. I, I hope it doesn't seem like we're slacking off and, and not doing stuff, but uh, it's, it'll all be made clear very soon. Uh, Lee asking, do you have a Burger Time PCB to sell? Uh, we unfortunately do not, but maybe check with Todd Tucky. That guy's got a ton of stuff. Maybe he's got a Burger Time board for you. Timothy Roth joining us saying, uh, what's up, looking forward to next month? Me too, man. Can't wait to have you guys out. Uh, Paul Cruz saying, Brucina says, please hold on to those gloves. We're eventually coming for them. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to upgrade again. I, I put a crack in the Kevlar, so just uh, was was working out on the Wing Chun dummy, so I'm gonna have to upgrade some gloves, so I'll have, maybe I'll have an extra spare by then, so. Uh, Juan saying, miss you guys, uh, be coming in soon, looking forward to it, man. Let us know when you're coming. Meshenberg saying, hello, thank you for being here, man. Very, very much appreciate you joining us. Chris Davis saying, how are you? I'm doing great, I had an amazing afternoon. Um, a lot of fun hanging out with the cats uh, and um, Daniel Piscina and Lumba was out here and just a, a fun, awesome day all together. Greg Brandon saying, uh, let's see Chiller. Oh, and I, I can't even forget, we had um, Doug Fox was here, got here at six in the morning again. We were tearing it up, working with him, working on uh, Monday Mystery and uh, it was more work to do on the Monday mystery. It's coming along. We'll get it. We'll get it. Paul Cruz saying, um, Ghosts and Goblins was so hard on Nintendo. It was. What a, it's hard. There's, there's no easy version of Ghosts and Goblins or Ghouls and Ghosts, that's for sure. Thomas Ross saying, let me know if you need anything we can bring along from TNT. Very awesome, man. Thank you so much. 
shout outs to Ed. Thank you for joining us, man. Hope you are doing well. Again, let me know next time you're coming in, man. I was I was trying to get over and talk to you, and it just by the time I came back, you had already taken off. So my fault for uh, just yesterday. Every day lately, it's just been one thing after the next. Some some expected plan stuff, but a lot of unexpected things just popping up. And Time Pilot is so fun. I have problems with those UFO stages. That whole game, it is so fun. That's that's a cool thing. And again, I have to th say thanks to Jane for uh, picking out some of the games. That, like, there's so much to play here. When somebody's like, "Oh, let's go play this," that's awesome. It it puts you in front of stuff that you don't normally think about playing. And uh, Awesome time, man. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, Ryan says, the pinball section open too. So pinball is open today. It's open right now until 11 p.m. 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. Uh, again, we're having some scheduling issues going on. Hopefully we'll have it open next week. Uh, we're still trying to figure it out. Uh, we'll, we'll let everybody know. Stay tuned to our Facebook page, and I'll let you know on here, of course. Um, so it's it's one of those things we're trying to get back to being regular hours uh, for both Galloping Ghost Arcade and Galloping Ghost Pinball, but a lot of outside factors coming into play. So we're working on it. We're working on it. Nick saying, how's it going? Going great, man. Hope everything's going good by you. Um, Paul the Cruz saying, we are overdue for a Kung Fu Master stream. I hear ya. I played that the other day again. I played my second game on it. I'm super anxious to get a couple more games and then get a stream going for that because I, I just love it. Kung Fu Master is such an amazing game. Dennis saying, is Mappy up and running? I'm looking forward to play that tonight when I get there. Uh, I will double check it before I leave. It was up earlier this afternoon. Did have to change that marquee light. I got a few of the marquee lights earlier this morning. I hate. I hate when there's marquee lights out, but um, not, not as much as I hate Double Dragon 3. Not, not that I hate Double Dragon 3, but, um, you know, I don't like marquee lights being out. So, well, I'll check Mappy. I'll make sure that's all looking good for you. Uh, Greg Brandon saying, I like Tricycle. Tricycle sign released from Sega back in 1984. Same artist that did... Sorry. Same artist that did Flicky did... Um, uh, tricycle Sun. So, very awesome. Super rare game. We got into quite the bidding match when it popped up on auction in Japan. I had never seen that board for sale. And obviously, uh, Danielle's favorite game, Flicky, gotta have uh, the game made by one of the artists on the game. So, it was one that we really, really wanted, but I tell you, because it was so rare and obscure, that bidding war was unpleasant. It was very memorable, though. Very memorable. It, it in on Japanese auctions, every time you bid, it extends the auction by five or ten minutes. So it's it's not like uh, U.S. eBay where the time hits and the highest bidder gets it. It keeps extending. So in Japanese auctions, what I have found is they seem to keep letting the auction clock run out. So like, they'll wait until the last minute. So you'll have to spend 10 minutes waiting. And if you leave, they'll bid again, 10 more minutes to run down and then you lose it. So most bidding situations, it ends up taking it, it can be hours, it can be hours to win an auction if you're slugging it out uh, on like Yahoo Japan or something. So this was one, it was, it took a long time. I don't know the exact amount, but it was, it was a long time for us to win that auction. Paul de Cruz saying, I'll never give up my brother. I don't care how long it takes. I will get out there. I know you will, man. It's just a matter of time. It's... It's gonna be amazing once you're out here and uh, we look forward to it. So just hold on to that and uh, it'll happen soon enough, I'm sure. Um, 
Todd saying love time pilot. Uh, very unhappy I can't be there you, with you in August. I'll be in the streams. Can't wait for the August 10th Monday mystery. Looking forward to it, man. It's, uh, I understand, obviously, we have so many people that want to be here and are disappointed and sad that they can't join us. And you guys have been, everybody's so amazing, the support that they show. And just realize it's, it's an odd time. It's an odd time all over the place. And we'll get there. We'll get there. People will be traveling again. Um, we just can't thank you all enough for the support. And uh, just look, look forward to when things get more back to normal. And uh, we'll be here. We'll be here. Just no rush. No rush. Uh, Greg Bryan saying, is Circus okay to play now? Uh, circus is on. I saw that earlier today. Uh, to Peterson, Christina's going to get those gloves somehow. Save the old ones. You know, it's I, I found a, I found another old pair. I was uh, working on my office, and uh, you know, I, I surprisingly saved quite a few sets of gloves. <laughs> but th there they sit. Uh, Shouts to Jay. Thank you for being here. Wilmer saying uh, greetings from Venezuela. Thank you for joining us, man. Very, very much appreciate that. Checking in from Venezuela. Um, Tim Peterson saying I'll be up with a small group of people tomorrow, hoping to see the productions office and relics. Then uh, let me know what time you're coming. I'm I usually am here for a small window early on Sunday, um, but let me know. Let me know. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll work something out. Just definitely let us know uh, what time you're coming. Uh, Greg Brandon saying, I hope people are playing Paperboy. Paperboy always gets some attention. Um, James saying, the four player Darius is awesome. The four, Darius, absolutely love it. That's uh, Darius and um, Gunbuster, right? Both great four player games. Uh, Bad News to Cruz saying, do you have an opening date for building number five? Oh. Not yet, that is, the expansion is kind of like the, it's a, it's a bit of a sore spot. I was really hoping that we would have it in time for the anniversary, but you know, seven. it's, uh, what's that? Oh, checking out all the, the games in the Brian Cullen section here. Um, the, the expansion, it's going so much slower than uh, what we had hoped. Um, we were on target, it would have been done, but with the lockdown and everything, it's, uh, it's creeping along. Working on the electric right now, that has made great progress. Uh, hoping that the electrical, ins the electric has to be done in two parts. So the first one, uh, nearing completion, then we have to have an inspection, and then we can start on the second part. So. We shall see. I will keep everybody posted on when that wall is coming down. You'll probably start seeing some little signs here and there, like, uh, you know, maybe a big tarp up behind where Monday Mystery is. But we'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there. Thomas Ross and the Arcade Legend Doc, now uh, House Godzilla playing. Excited. Thank you so much, man. Sending a thousand stars. Very much appreciated, man. It's um, Godzilla. Always playing great. We were just looking at the um, uh, Godzilla Wars uh, Redemption game that we have down at production uh, yesterday. Actually, we we're looking at it today, too. So uh, it's definitely looking forward to having you check it out. Um, Tim saying, don't lie, Doc. You hate Double Dragon 3 as much as we all do. You know, I, I need to, I need, I said I would play it again. I will have to find a day that either, I don't know if I should pick a day that I'm in a really good mood and put myself in a really bad mood, or if I should just find myself in a really bad mood and then make it much worse. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll play it when I'm in a bad mood uh, to make it worse. And, you know, being here, I, I can't even remember the last time I was in a bad mood, so. Hey, then I don't have to play it. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Uh, Greg saying bidding wars sound terrible. Uh, they are. They are really. There's 
so many games that we've seen out in Japan that I've been so excited uh, to get for the arcade so people can enjoy them and play them. And often, like, I'll, I'll see a game and I'll be like, oh, I know who's gonna enjoy that one. And sometimes it's a couple of people, sometimes it's just one person. Uh, and that's, that's the fun part to it. It's like getting the games, having the games, playing the games, all awesome, love it. But to be able to watch people enjoy them and uh, really enjoy them, it's, it's just very, very cool. It's that additional side to it that uh, makes, it, it, it's even better than what, like I, who doesn't love getting a new video game by any means, but taking it to that extra level and watching somebody enjoy it, it's, it's pretty cool. Shout outs to Brady Rain. Thank you for being here. Hope you're having a good day, man. Uh, Paul the Cruz saying, you deserve our support, Doc. We all share a common ground. Video games, we are a unique breed of people. Absolutely, man. And thank you so much for that. Very much appreciate that. It's, uh, it is that thing that brings us all together. And as we've said, there's been all these years, there's no fights here. There's no... I've seen only friendships formed here, like, and video games is what brings everybody together here. So it's, it's just amazing, an amazing thing. Uh, David saying, love the Galloping Ghost Pinball, thank you so much. Really can't wait to get that back open full time. It's, uh, it's, it's just one of those things that, I, I'm a, I'm a preacher of routine. I like, I like things the way they, I'm used to them. And pinball not being open, I am not a fan, I am not a fan. Paul saying, uh, do you ever take one day off from, uh, do you ever take one day off from going to the arcade? Um, it's, it's happened, it's uh, like su Sundays, I'm usually here for just a small window. Like I, I get in maybe a, just a six or an eight hour shift. Uh, but you know why? Why? Uh, why would I want to be away from a place that makes me happy? So it's it's one of those things. It's not work. It is definitely not work. Greg Brandon saying is Jet Jaguar in any uh, Godzilla games? He's the best. He is in the uh, Ben Presto Godzilla game. Not playable. He just flies past the screen at one point. Uh, Tim saying they've been able to get. Chinese smell of the Canton expansion. Um, not, uh, it still has got that Canton smell in there, uh, but as we haven't done that part of the work yet, it's to be expected. We'll get it though, we'll get it though. Paula Cruz saying any update on when sit down power drift hits the arcade floor? Not yet. Uh, it is a very heavily dependent on space. Um, it definitely, since that's just a cabinet upgrade, we'd probably uh, move, we'd probably get rid of the upright because we would have the sit down deluxe version. Um, so we'll see, it's, it's too big to just bring in now. Uh, so once Canton opens, maybe, maybe shortly after that, we've got a lot of, uh, we'll have to kind of assess how the next expansion will go because just like with the fourth building, we we wanted to uh, get rid of the two-in-one cabinets and have each in its own separate dedicated cabinet, but not at the cost of not being able to put out additional games. Uh, Dennis saying, Don uh, Double Dragon 3, why would you do that to yourself? I, I must be a glutton for punishment. I gotta make sure that I'm giving it a fair shake. I'm pretty sure that I know what to expect on it. I was, I was trying... Hello. I was trying to watch a uh, uh, a playthrough video, and it was so difficult to watch the playthrough video. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It'll make for a good stream, regardless. Um, Kirk saying thank you for the dedication to preserving these games uh, for these works of art known as arcade games. Thank you so much for that. It's you know it's. I am so, it's such an honor to get to do what I get to do. And whether it be industry people that um, 
you know, watching so many people that have made these games, see their games still being enjoyed today, watching people that played these games so many years ago get to enjoy them again, it's all an amazing thing. So thank you for that, man. Um, Brady saying, spoiler alert, I called the Galloping Ghost Arcade last night and I talked about uh, to get a dedicated Johnny Nero Action Hero Machine and cover it up for the next Monday mystery game. Who knows? Monday is coming. Maybe it'll be. Maybe it'll be Johnny Nero this week. We shall see. Uh, Greg saying Darius Burst is the best. Love Darius Burst. Amazing game. Amazing game. Um, let's see. Paul the Cruz saying, can you explain how Laserdisc, how the Laserdisc games work? So the Laserdisc games, basically Dragon's Lair, for example, the animated part of the game is on the Laserdisc. So that's playing. And the, depending on which direction you press, you're basically just jumping to a different scene on the disc. So it's, it's basically like a movie where you're, but you're flipping chapters. So if you press up and you're supposed to press down, and it's gonna play a scene where you die. It just jumps to another part of the disc and plays that animation. So uh, the scores and everything, there's actually, it requires a non-standard monitor. You need a special NTSC board uh, that handles the overlays. So there's kind of like two channel video. One is being just an overlay. So games like um, Star Rider, you're actually controlling a sprite uh, along with like Mach 3, Interstellar. So you're blending like the video from the Laserdisc with, with an on-screen sprite. So it's a very, very complicated. Uh, it, it, the development of those games definitely tough. So uh, Brad Williams said, I got Nibbler in the back of my truck. Very nice, man. Excellent score. Uh, Daniel St. Dox, man, thank you so much for that, man. Very much appreciated. Um, Thomas Ross saying, I like the games, but I'm not a fan of candy cabinets. Cabinets don't have much style or character for, for me. I, I totally agree, man. Like, I like candy cabinets. I think they're, they're cool. They're very streamlined. They take up a, a bigger footprint, usually because you're seated while playing them. But... There's, there's not, there's, the artwork is so scaled back. So that's, that's really like the big, like you get a marquee, but it's not like the elaborate, like Forgotten Worlds, marquee, bezel, control panel art, side art, you lose out on all that. Some games even having like kick panel art and stuff, that's awesome, that's just such, the presentation is, it's great, it's great. Uh, Greg Brandon is saying, let's see the high score on Tron. We'll take a walk over there. Nobody's on it right this second. There are your high scores on Tron right there. Uh, Tim Peterson, keep in mind the small window is a regular day of rest for us, Doc. <laughs> it's, I, I gotta be moving, I gotta be moving. Jamie, thank you for joining us. Uh, Braxton, thank you for being here, asking how's opening going? It's, it's definitely much slower than uh, what we are used to, like, and, but it's, it's a rebuilding process, so we'll get through it, we'll get through it. It's, uh, Everybody, everything has been going pretty smoothly. We haven't had any instances. Um, so we're gonna keep going, we'll keep going. Shout out to Prusina, thank you for joining us. Uh, Paul Cruz saying, does anyone know if laser jumps to different parts of the disc when the joystick input is made? It does, if it's the wrong, you're basically, that's why they were able to do laser disc games just on regular laser disc players on TV. You could just press the button and skipping to different chapters. Um, that side of it, like Dragon's Lair and stuff, not very complicated in the long run. But games like Mach 3 and um, 
uh, us versus them, where you have sprites that you're kind of all matching up to the background, that becomes a lot more complicated. Uh, let's see. Wesley saying, any plans to expand the building or open another location when space becomes too much of an issue? So, it's, I don't see us doing another location anytime soon. We've got, like, this one isn't done. This, this, we still have a lot more to add. We've got at least 180 games in the vaults, and um, we got to get them all done and put out and ready for everybody to enjoy before we start looking at a second location, because second location is going to bring so many more just different challenges. So we want to focus on this one for, for the time being. Dan Ancavelli saying, how's the Atari row going? Looking good. Looking good. Good lineup of games right here. And the Atari row. Although this is the one cabinets. I still got to change that Temple of Doom marquee light. Uh, Braxton asking, what's your rarest arcade game? So we've got a bunch of one-of-one of one prototypes. We've got RC Squared. We've got International Team Laser. Um, we've got very low number prototypes like Primal Rage 2, uh, Beavis and Butthead. It's, it's a pretty long list of prototypes and, and rarities. So uh, what is the rarest? That's a little subjective. It, it would have to be like, uh, it's going to be one of the one-on-one -on -one cabinets, but a game like Primal Rage 2, that's probably one of the most sought after. Oh, shout out to Todd Tucky from TNT. Thank you for checking in, man. Very awesome. I was checking out your uh, best offer stream. A lot of fun. Always having fun. Amazing time watching uh, Todd Tucky anytime he is on. So if you see him, make sure you're following him on, uh, on Facebook and um, He's been doing live auctions and, and streams. Always make sure you check him out because uh, you won't want to miss it. Uh, Brucina, the gloves are here. Uh, Jason, I remembered a couple of things I forgot to ask. But I'll save them for next time I'm there. I don't want to spill any secrets in chat. Let me know, man. Uh, just definitely hit me up. Hit me up. Um... Let's see. Eduardo, thank you for joining us. Todd saying the TNT twins are coming to see you. Cannot wait, man. Looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's coming up. It's coming up. Uh, let's see. Greg saying build a basement, put a pizza maker down there, and more games. <laughs> that would... Food in general would be definitely an interesting thing and a, bring many problems to it at this point, but we'll see, we'll see. John Sam, I'm sitting here watching with Todd Tucky. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Uh, let's see. Paul saying hard driving is, is hilarious. I can't stop laughing while I play it. I remember the first time I was playing hard driving, went around that corner and there's the cow there. Too funny, too funny. Greg saying I miss crawl, it makes me happy. I still have to show everybody that secret trick in crawl of uh, the menu, the test menu screen. We'll do that soon, we'll do that very soon. Todd saying the best offer sale did well. Next sale, next Saturday. Make sure you check that out. Sale is at uh, tntamusements.com. Todd putting in the link, very awesome. Make sure you check that out. Tim saying, speaking of Primal Rage 2, I'm still looking for a Primal Rage banner like what Galloping Ghost Arcade has. Right over there, that giant Primal Rage banner that was donated to us by Chris Tang, one of the legends of the industry. Chris worked on that and autographed it, signed it, dedicated it to the arcade. Very, very awesome. Uh, Wesley asking, was there ever a Time Killers 2 prototype? Uh, not that we've seen. Um, they did uh, Time Killers and Bloodstorm, but 
No Time Killers 2. Uh, Paul De Cruz asking, do you have POW Prisoner of War? Absolutely. Great game. Great game. Greg saying, uh, that's awesome. The high school made you that pawn game right here. Niles North, North High School as a, a summer project did that whole game. Um, Paul Cruz saying, uh, what did you think of that interview with Don Bluth? I said, that was awesome, man. Very much appreciate you sending that. It was great to see. Very cool. But on that note, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to jump over and uh, do some work on the Monday Mystery Game. Get that hopefully a little bit further so I'm not uh, scrambling to have it ready on Monday. But we'll see. I'm, I'm sure I'll be trying to play catch up. Um, so until then, thank you everybody. I'll do. I'll probably be back tomorrow at some point, uh, probably earlier than normal, and do a, a at least a short stream. So looking forward to it. Appreciate everybody uh, stopping by. Thank you, uh, Todd Tucky and the uh, Tim and Thomas uh, for for stopping out. And Jay, thank you again so much for everything. Paul De Cruz and Christina Brady, thank you all so much for everything. Dennis. Until next time, thanks everybody. This is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade. We hope to see you around the arcade soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Stay safe.